So if you've been using PowerPoint or perhaps seen PowerPoint presentations, you may have added in animations or seen them in action. So here, this little image that I've got, I've set it so that it can actually float in. I'm going to click on my animations tab at the top here, and there is a preview button if I click on it and you'll see that's floating in. If I hover over some of my other options, you can see it's giving me a preview. I can click through and see more, or if I'm looking at this over here, I can click on this drop down and expand out to see some. They're a bit fancy, these motion paths, and you can actually adjust these. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. I'm gonna start off by just adding a new slide, just a blank one. Um, so that I can actually use this. I'm going to choose an image which is going to be that jargon free logo again. I'm just going to click on insert. I'm just going to move it over here. So I'm just going to go to animations. I'm going to click on my drop down here and you'll see that there are these motion paths. I'm going to look at custom path in just a moment. So you can choose a shape like this one. I'm just going to click this one. It's going to just make it go round in a circle. I'm actually just going to move that across just a bit. Okay, so if I click on preview, you'll see it just goes round in that loop. What if you want to change it, adjust the size or something like that? You can just right click and choose edit points. And then you get these little squares here and you can change them. So I could stretch this out. I could drag this down here. I can see what it's doing at any point by clicking on preview. And you can see it's now going in that shape. You can add other points by right clicking and choosing add points and then you can drag those around. This is going to be a bit weird. So I'm going to add another point and move that. You can actually right click and delete the points as well. So there you go. So you can keep adding. When you're done, just right click on it. Just let me do that again. Right click on it and it's actually closed the paths anyway because I clicked on it. But if I click on edit points and then right click, you can do exit edit points here as well. So let's see a preview of that. It's gonna go all over the show. Now I could adjust the speed of this as well. That was pretty quick. If I go to my animation pane here, which is just up in the ribbon, and I can just click on this drop down here, go to my timing, and I can tell it how long I want it to last. So I can make it maybe, well, let's do very slow. I'm just gonna click on okay. And there you go, it's slowed down just a little bit. So you can see you've got a few options there. Again, if I go back to my animation pane, I've got the effect options as well. So you can determine whether you want it to be a fast start or a smooth ending bounce at the end and you can also make it go backwards as well so if I choose that let me choose my timing so it's not too slow let's go back to that two seconds click on OK and then it goes back again you never know when you're going to need this so that's how you can add an animation path and there are various ones you can choose from here so I'm just going to create another slide again because this time I'm going to do the custom path just going to add in that image again. And this time I'm going to my animations. I'm going to choose from my drop down here, custom path. And this is basically like having a pen. So you can just draw whatever you want. So I'm going to make it come down here, a loop the loop, and then back here. And to finish where you want, because I could still continue, is to double click. So to finish drawing your line, just choose double click. This is a bit all over the place. Again, in my animation pane here, I can change the settings such as the timing of it. And once again, I can right click on it and choose edit points. So I can, you can see there's a lot more points on here now. I can move them around, maybe space these out a bit. You can see you can do an awful lot with this. Maybe bring the circle in a bit tighter. Obviously, this is going to take me a bit of time if I'm going to actually really get this just right. But just so you get the idea. So don't forget, I could click outside of that or right click. Don't forget, um, I missed, so it's clicked outside of it. But don't forget, you can add points in there as well. So another useful thing you can see here is it's got these arrows. 
you can right click on those and choose reverse path direction so you can see it's going backwards so you just because you've drawn it in one direction doesn't mean you have to have it go in that direction so just one other thing that you can do on this and that is you can close the path and you'll see when I right click that was one of the options here close path which is going to actually make it start and stop in the same points so if I choose that you'll see it's extended the line there and it closes in exactly the same place where you started if you right click you can open path and then you can click and drag let me just get that points let's just choose edit points I'm just going to get that last one and move that around so you can see that would be opening it up so closing the path means it starts and stops at the same points and if you open it you can have it start and stop in a different point there so that is how you can use motion paths and also custom paths in powerpoints